Okay, so here we have an Arduino Uno hooked up to the Adafruit TFT 2.2 screen, which is actually an awesome little screen. You can see what appears to be uh, a clock cycling through with a little uh, display. Um, now, you could do this same project um, using the milli function or something like that, but um, it's not going to be as accurate as this. The way that I'm doing it is uh, there's a PWM pin right here, and it is connected directly to the interrupt zero, which is pin two on the Arduino Uno. Um, so that's basically just sending a square wave in, and this is counting how many times it gets it, and because it's coming in at a very specific rate, uh, you can determine a time period based upon how many of those square waves have gone through using the interrupt. And the other code that you're running on the Arduino is not affecting um, the amount of time that's been counted going by because the interrupt takes priority over all the other code that's running on the Arduino. So the code that I'm using in order to update the screen does not make the time period lag behind. Um, and it's a real simple wiring. I'm just using SPI wired into the screen. I'm using the Adafruit library for the TFT screen. Um, the screen actually can display a lot better things than, than uh, just the time period right now. Um, but I'm just using it just to uh, display the clock. Um, and again, all I'm using is the PWM pin 6 wired into interrupt 0, and I basically am just counting off how many square waves they go through. When I hit a certain number of square waves go through, I know a second has gone by because I know that exact rate. Um, Alright, hope you guys like it. Thanks.